So two episodes ago, I made reference to the fact that Japan celebrates Christmas by getting a bucket of KFC. With the idea being in mind to try and celebrate an American Christmas, well, Japan, you're speaking to an American, we do not do that here. No, an American Christmas involves a dry overcooked turkey, your perverted uncle with his mistletoe, and your politically obsessed family members getting into a pointless avoidable shouting match. And Japan, you have your own version of fried chicken that I think is even better than KFC. Chicken Karage. I really wanted to hear this, that's why I have this subtitle in Japanese as well. Uh, don't worry, I'll teach my American friends how to make this. Oh boy, I sure hope the guy I hired is doing a good job. Okay, so, in case you don't know, Chicken Karage is made with chicken thigh. And cookie snobs say that this is the best cut of meat. And you know what? They're right, I actually have to agree with them. I have here about two pounds of chicken thighs, and we're going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces and toss our pieces into a bowl. I want to be extra careful, you might come across a loose bone fragment or two. Okay, now let's take care of the marinade. All right, let's add three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. One third cup sake. Two tablespoons of mirin. One teaspoon of grated ginger. And four to five cloves of garlic minced, depending on their size. And half a teaspoon of MSG. Um, to keep the lawyers at bay, this is an optional ingredient. No, it's not. Uh, hey, CRT here from the Future Bunny. And again, I forgot to add one more ingredient. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right, let's mix everything around. And let this marinate in the fridge for a minimum of one hour, 12 max. And while meaty poultry sponges do its thing in the fridge, let's make a dipping sauce. I think a nice garlic aioli will be nice. So in this bowl, I have four egg yolks. And no, YouTube is not glitching out on you. The uh, egg yolks are different colors. And to this, let's add three cloves of minced garlic. The juice of half a lemon. Uh, make sure you don't get any seeds in there. Three teaspoons of brown mustard. One teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. All right, mix these ingredients together. And while whisking, uh, let's add a neutral tasting oil like vegetable oil, slowly so we can create an emulsion. Keep adding our oil little by little until it reaches your desired thickness. Let's just add one more ingredient. Two tablespoons of chopped chives. All right, let's go in for a taste test. Need a little bit more of everything. Okay, don't do that. All right, it's ready for a fried chicken. Speaking of which. Okay, it's been an hour. Our chicken should be done marinating. And now comes the dredging process. And here I have a bowl of cornstarch instead of flour. That what gives it its crispiness. Trust me, when I was testing out this recipe, I made a lot more than I think I would. I put the rest of it away. I heated it up the next day and it was still crispy. Anyway, enough of my life story. Take our chicken, place it in our dredge. Coat everything in our cornstarch. All right, let's take off any excess cornstarch and put it on a separate plate. Oh, when dredging, make sure to use two separate hands. Otherwise, you'll get something called Frankenstein. Oh, and another thing, don't pile all the chicken on top of each other. Make sure it's all one layer. If you run out of room, just get another plate. 
Okay. The chicken has been dredged and it's ready for the fryer. Speaking of which, okay, I got my frying station set up. So I have here a straight side sauté pan filled halfway up with oil and a cooling line baking sheet with paper towel. Oh, and the oil is set to 350 degrees. Do your Christmas traditions not involve fried chicken, but demons, witches, and a guy taking a literal dump on the ground? I swear this is real. The Marshall Plan was a mistake. Then the number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. All right, our oil's come up to temp. Let's gently drop in our chicken. Cook them until they're golden brown and delicious. All right, once they reach golden brown color, transfer them to our tray and let them cool down. Dip it in our aioli. Mmm. Merry Christmas to me. Hopefully I showed you a new Christmas tradition. Eh, hell. You don't even have to wait for Christmas to happen. You can have it anytime, anywhere. Much like another fried dish you can have. Bacas. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering, the country that celebrates the guy taking a dump is Catalan. You really need to kick Spain out of NATO.